So you guys know I've been using the new MacBook Pro for a while, the controversial USB Type-C only MacBook Pro, and there's been a number of remedies for the situation, products that have emerged, hubs, docks, dongles, dare I say dongles? But today I've got something different, maybe the best solution to date, maybe not. I mean, that's the point of this video, I'm gonna try this thing out. It's called the dock case for the 15 inch MacBook Pro. Pack your MacBook and all the missing ports into the dock case. So it's a case and a dock in one. As you can see from the package, it's gonna give you an ethernet port, an HDMI, a couple of type C connectors, including what looks like the Thunderbolt connection pass through. Then you have three traditional USB 3.0 ports an SD card slot and a micro SD card slot. I mean, that's pretty cool if that's what that is. And you can kind of tell from the side of the box here, it's a very slender case. Now you're gonna have to have a case for your laptop anyways, so why not get some ports along with it? After all, you're probably missing them on the new MacBook Pro, or maybe you're not. Maybe you're a one cable kind of guy. Who knows, maybe this device here can convince you to take the dive into the new MacBook. I know a lot of people are hesitant. If you came from the old generation MacBook Pro, you had access to pretty much all of this. Ooh, all right. So far, so good. This is the dock case. Whoa, is this fake leather? Was hoping for genuine, but you know, you could tell from that smell, this is probably an artificial leather, no big deal. The vegans in the crowd can rejoice, in fact. Oh, look at that, it's a beta version. We sincerely invite you to review this product. Constructive feedback will be delivered to our product team and reflected to the next upgraded version. Thank you, wow, okay, so they're looking for the, for the feedback. A nice texture, this part flips open, magnets, and then the laptop will go inside of here. This is just a placeholder. And then on this side, look at all the ports. Ethernet, HDMI, Type-C, USB 3. And yes, that is a micro SD card slot and a full size SD card slot. Cool. Also in the box, it looks like we have a Type-C cable. It's important you use the right one here because I've been using my MacBook Pro with various accessories and monitors and realizing that not all of these cables are created equal. So when you go out to like an HDMI, for example, to, to certain displays, some type C cables are just not functioning the way that I expected. Others work seamlessly. I'm assuming this one is in the same boat since they've included it along with this hub. So what you're gonna do is remove your laptop from the case and then plug it in to the hub like this. Now you have access to all of these extra ports right here. Let's just make sure I'm doing this right. That makes sense, okay. So, so that is a USB Type-C input. The HDMI output is capable of 4K and the 3.1 data speed up to five gigabits per second. Ah, I see how they've done this. So the MacBook Pro sits on top of the case when it's not in use. That's what it's gonna look like there when it's fully functional and using all the ports. I'm starting to really like this thing. This guy sits on top, I put the lid up, I'm using the laptop, plug in my USB Type-C, pull it around like this, and then check that out. Now, my laptop has been expanded with an object the size of something I'd be carrying around to begin with. I really like the touch of micro SD because you don't see that even on the old school MacBook, you would need the adapter. And you can also see an indicator light here. So that shows you that you have power going to the hub itself. So just like this, it's like a portfolio. Pull it out, spin it around, kaboom. There's gonna be people in the audience saying, why don't we just have all those ports on the, on the laptop to begin with? Well, listen, we're not going back to that world. Whether you like it or not, that ship has sailed. And of course, as you know, if you head to the Apple store, you're, you're spending like $30 per dongle. On my desk up until this point, I've been using a little device from a company called Hutu. I had to go out and get it almost immediately after getting the new MacBook, just because of the other peripherals that were lying around the office that I still had to use. Let me tell you about a little story Something that happened to me on one of my previous trips to CES in Las Vegas. It's just a barrel of excitement. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this one year I'm out there, I'm, I'm hanging out. 
I got a great hotel, but the Wi-Fi, it's shoddy, it's terrible. I wanna connect directly to the wired connection to avoid the Wi-Fi that everybody in the entire hotel is on, because it's all a bunch of tech-savvy people and journalists from all over the world. So I had to head out to the Apple Store, even with the previous generation MacBook, to look for a dongle just to get Ethernet. Ethernet, that's this one right here. So a lot of times you don't necessarily know when or why you're gonna need one of these ports. That's two worlds colliding that makes me feel very warm and fuzzy inside. So let's just do a quick little test, make sure this thing is working correctly. I'm gonna insert a micro SD. It clicks in with a spring. We also have a USB thumb drive. Ooh, this is that fancy one that came with the $20,000 smartphone, Jack. If these people haven't seen that video, now that's a video. A $20,000 Android smartphone. Whoa. This came with that, go check that out. Conor McGregor, he needs one of these. Okay, so I'll, I'll slide this one in there. Look at that, we have a thumb drive, we have a micro SD, and if I... Okay, so it's connected up. So I just wanna be clear on something here. If you wanna charge the MacBook while you're using it, there's a specific power delivery port. As you can see there, it's the first of the two Type-C connectors, and that will still connect to your power brick, and that will act as a pass-through for power to your laptop. All right, so I have the USB thumb drive connected and the micro SD plugged in as well. The two devices are both mounted. They open up perfectly fine. It works. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering what I've got on top of my MacBook Pro here, that is a skin from the brand. It's got the leather look. Maybe the, the MacBook, it makes a comeback right here. Maybe you're interested now. Maybe not. Something worth noting is the fact that the device gets longer, right? So this entire portion down here is the electronics associated with the dock. Your laptop in the sleeve is about an inch taller than it would have been without that. Also, it feels like this is mostly made of plastic, have a little bit of a tinny kind of sound to it. Either way, I think this is a very cool device. I think it's gonna solve some problems for new MacBook Pro users. It's unusual that I bump into something like this. It's simple, but so obviously functional. I think this one is a win right here. You little slaphead. You little slaphead.